weed is not a gateway drug. The only thing it's a gateway drug to is tobacco because people start smoking weed with tobacco. Someone offers them a spliff, someone offers them a blunt, someone offers them a, a, a bong bowl with tobacco in it and weed. So it just, it just gradually, so they first take your first rip and then you're kind of keep on doing it. You know, like I start smoking tobacco because of that pretty much. There's so many names for it, like tobacco and weed in a bong bowl, mook, dirty bowl, mole bowl, mole rip, whatever. A mook is when you put tobacco and weed in a bowl and smoke it. So if you've ever smoked a spliff, it's the same thing, but out of a bong. Mixing marijuana and uh, nicotine or tobacco, um, I think it's been around for at least when I was a kid. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's been around for uh, decades. Um, I think again with uh, the new vehicles, with all these uh, different really um, amazingly engineered apparatuses, um, you can really get higher levels. It has so much more of an effect on you, I guess. I love it. <laughs> it keeps me awake, just the head rush from it. It saves weed too. True. You're ripping half tobacco bowls. True. Yeah, true. It does save a lot of weed. You get used to it after a while and you kind of expect it, but uh, yeah, in general it is more, more intense. It's intense as fuck. You get a head rush and you just Sometimes die. People, it's like that part on Spaceballs when they go yeah. warp <laughs> speed. And like yeah, the whole people like, seize. Yeah, whatever guys like flying around. Seizures happen. I've seen like literally over yeah. six yeah. people have seizures yeah. just from taking one mook. The most extreme mook I've ever seen was actually when we went to a mook party <laughs> at Laurelhurst oh. and my friend Autumn took a mook with spirit, doha, and nicotine oil on it. And she just lit it and hit it very fat. And then she just kind of like started like holding her mouth and like shaking. And then she went and laid down on the ground and started convulsing and just seizing out. And then we had to kind of help her and get her on her side. That way she could throw up. But then after she threw up, she was fine, and she That's just came and drank water. So it's almost like you're getting two for one. You you know take one hit, and you have nicotine and the marijuana in it, and you might get addicted to both. And uh, nicotine's also pretty nasty to uh, to uh, stop using once you're dependent on it. It's addictive. It's physically addictive. It's hard to stop moving. It's extremely difficult. I've I've tried it. It's hard on like not even like mental because you all you think about is wanting to take a mook, but also physically, you know what I mean? Like you sweat more, you you're more agitated, you're more angry. Cause all you want to do is like this release. Cause the high you get from a mook is totally different than smoking weed. You know, it's something that we should be careful about to be honest. But I don't really, I don't know. I haven't really been thinking about that. <laughs> I know. Like by the time I turn about like 20, I'm gonna stop that because it's really unhealthy for you and obviously I know that. It's so bad for your lungs, dude. Like it's terrible. It's so bad for you. I don't advise it at all. I don't advise it. I just love it. I need to quit, but I, I see why people do it. I just started ripping moles. I don't know if I'm gonna continue very far. It's just like once you have that one high, you're just like, it's good. It's a good feeling, but just don't do it. Like. Yeah, just don't. Don't take a mook. Just smoke weed. If you have to, just smoke weed because a mook can become addictive. Whenever life gets hard, green and brown must unite. You'll be alright. You'll go get some rest.